welcome back to the channel um today we will be uh going over the three port mishimoto uh oil catch can and where we will be installing it onto the car let's go over some of the features um with the catch can as well as the mounting plate uh yeah sorry i've got a mess uh going on in the table i'm trying to get all my itb stuff sorted so i can make a video for you guys on like everything that uh I've gathered up to um, uh, get it to work for my car. Um, I've also got a few uh, pieces that I was missing for the interior and for the transmission. Uh, as you can see, I'm also missing the fridge that was uh, previously there, so now there's a lot more space. The car is back on the OEM suspension. Uh, unfortunately, I had to remove the max speed rods because I was having problems with the front right and the rear left. Uh, I still yet have to hear from them, but uh, I'm not even gonna deal with that right now. I'll just uh, deal with that later. And um, well, over here, I've got the VVT motor and I got my BP4W. So we're going to Frankenstein those two together for the ITB build. All right, so Mishimoto has uh, two and three ports, and then they've got like this small one and then a more larger a unit. This is baffled, so it does help separate the oil that comes out of the valve cover from the PCV um, side of the valve cover. That way, you know, it just separates all the oil. That way it doesn't get mixed in with the oil that comes into the intake. Uh, the purpose of this is to try to reduce any oil going inside. And it also helps relieve pressure, especially if you're running a turbo application. But I am not, and I think it's pretty neat to have this. And it doesn't hurt to keep my uh, intake manifold clean for the time being that it's on the engine. I decided to go with a three port. Um, so both of these ports are in ports that's where they'll be connected to the pcv valves on the valve cover and this is the out port which would have gone back into the intake manifold but since i've plugged the intake manifold completely it's just gonna go to atmospheric air if you do run a little filter like this which i got this in autozone uh, the engine bay might have like an oil smell it doesn't necessarily mean that it's leaking oil it's just that you know with this little breather you will have the risk of having that odor come out from the from the catch can top you got the three little screws that uh, attach to the mounting bracket and the mounting bracket is um, it's got like these slots so that you can turn it into the position that you want it I went with this setting. They come already with these little AN ports. Um, but I had to downsize because the, the valve cover um, hose is a lot smaller and wouldn't fit onto these fittings. So I had to get a bigger uh, hose and then a smaller fitting uh, uh, so that I can transition to a smaller hose. Um, that's the only more or less modification I did to this so let's go ahead and see where we're gonna mount it on the car so as you can see I have done a little bit of um, an update on the car I do have it on dolly's I did get my AC condenser installed and I also have my Mishimoto radiator and my OEM um, coolant reservoir I was able to like tidy up this side. This side looks like a hot mess. I think I mentioned that before, but anyways. Um, I'm choosing to mount it right here. You can mount it straight. It does bring the um, hardware. I only used uh, one screw and I just screwed it into the firewall. So I have it sitting here. The best part about it is like I mentioned earlier, it's slotted so you can turn the can into orientations that fit uh, best fits your um, application. And you don't have to put it on that spot. You can actually put it anywhere you want. I initially wanted to put it on to the valve cover, but then I figured nah, it's just gonna, it's just gonna get in the way. So just 
keep it back there and then keep the hoses all nice and um, organized right there. So let's go ahead and get this installed and you'll see how it looks like onto the car. Alright guys, and there you have it. So that's where I have it hooked up at the moment. Um, I may decide, depending on uh, how the motor sits, I might change the location of it or the orientation. Um, but for now, I think it looks pretty nice. I know that the engine still needs a little, uh, engine bay needs a little bit of work um, in terms of organizing it, but we're soon getting ready to pop this little bad boy into the car and hopefully get it started. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That should do it. And that should do it for the install. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I know it was a short, uh, video and it's pretty simple. It's you can watch any video on installing a catch can. It's just one of the upgrades that I'm doing onto the car. So I figured I'd add it to the channel. Um, I am working on trying to get uh, all my stuff organized uh, for the ITB uh, manifold. Um, everything that you need or well, everything that I'm deciding to run with. Um, and then hopefully by then we should be able to drop the car, turn it around. And then drop that motor in, get the transmission mounted, get all the harnesses uh, sorted out, make sure everything is good, fuel's good, um, new battery and stuff, and give it a first start, and hopefully it runs. And after that, we could just uh, fine-tune it, put the, um, the ECU into it, and then move forward with the build of the car. Um, but... Thanks for dropping by. In the in the description below, I'll have a, a link to to the um, to the catch can. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see everything off camera and stuff, like all the parts uh, that I that I obtained and stuff. And most likely, the next series I'll be working on is the steering rack. So I will be depowering the power steering and I will be plugging it and then uh, installing the spacers and finally get it all put together. But again, thanks for swinging by. Stay tuned for the next video and take care.